Deep in the La Candon jungle of southern Mexico is a Maya ruin site that at first glance may not appear that impressive. Bonampak is much smaller than many other sites in the area, such as Palenque or nearby Yaxchilan. There's seemingly nothing overly impressive or unique about its architecture or location. In fact, for centuries, it escaped the knowledge of explorers, remaining known only to the Lacandon people, direct ancestors of the Maya. It was only after bribing these natives that the site was revealed to American explorers. As the story goes, it was in exchange for a gun that the explorer Giles Healy was led to Bonampak and was shown something that would rock the world of Maya archaeology, a discovery so great that it would completely shatter historians' understanding of the Maya people. All right, well, we have arrived at Bonampak. So to get here, you have to pay an entrance fee into kind of the town because the natives kind of control this area basically so you pay an entrance fee there and then you pay for a shuttle to take you here which honestly is kind of a little kind of a little funky I don't know why they do that you could totally drive that road but we just had a shuttle so two taxis drove us here and then you have to pay the government to get into the park so lots of payment but here we are in Bonampak, and uh, yeah, let's see what we can see. For a long time, it was thought that the Maya people were a peaceful civilization of scholars and astronomers. By all indications, they were a people that created art and measured time without the burden or conflict of war. Yeah. This whole notion was completely turned on its head, however, with the discovery of Bonampak. The reason these ruins are generally considered significant is because some of the only preserved wall frescoes are here at Bonampak. So we're going to go find those and uh, take a look at them. Alright, time for the steps challenge. This looks brutal. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here we go. Oh, these steps are so sketchy. It is here in a small building called Structure One that some of the best preserved wall paintings from the Maya civilization exist. The paintings cover the walls and ceiling of three rooms that make up the small temple. The rooms are tiny and their ceilings are high, which makes them a bit hard to photograph. I'll admit up front that I did a terrible job at capturing fully the narrative of the three rooms. I actually completely omitted most of room two because it was really hard to photograph, especially since room two's murals are very damaged. Each room is like a snapshot, showing events that happened around the rise of a Maya ruler. These murals display incredible details about what the Maya wore, their rituals and habits, and even instruments they played. What blew historians off their feet though were the events clearly illustrated in room two. Room 2 is a battle scene, showing the Maya subjugating and torturing captives. There's no dispute that they are killing enemies. Bound and bleeding captives are all over the walls, some already dead and others dying, scalped and with their fingernails ripped out. The image of the Maya as a peaceful race of astronomers was essentially thrown in the trash when Bonapak was discovered. Since its discovery, many more obvious and indisputable evidences have shown that the Maya were a warring people. Although we don't yet have a complete picture of their society and culture, pivotal discoveries like Bonampak have opened the window to further understanding this complex civilization. So this is why people come to Bonampak. You don't find paintings this preserved anywhere else. These are incredible. The colors, the detail is just amazing. So apparently, when this was all original, a lot of the figures had jewels for eyes. And you can see that the jewels have been robbed off of the wall. Check this out. You can see where they've all been picked off. Those paintings were absolutely incredible. 
there in that temple. Um, I've never seen anything like that. So well preserved. Just amazing. That's one of the reasons you come to Bonampak is to see those because you don't get preserved frescoes like that anywhere else. There's just not many ruins that survived the harsh climate of the rainforest. Oh, I am huffing and puffing because this is a big staircase. Ellie has found stone macaroni. There you go. The ancient Mayans liked macaroni. <laughs> now we know because there is a macaroni. <laughs> a big one. All right, let's go explore behind. I'm coming. Ooh, a little kind of. Dad said the mines like macaroni. Treacherous through here. He said the mines like macaroni. It's pretty hard to read, and it looks like it's in Spanish, so I don't really understand. So many ruins, just covered up by jungle. Who knows what secrets there still are back in here. If you ever travel to this part of Chiapas to visit ruins such as Palenque or Yaxilan, definitely add Bonampak to your list as well. Although it's very out of the way, video cannot do justice to how impressive the murals are here. If you're interested in learning more about the Bonampak murals, they've been extensively studied by a team from Yale University, led by Professor Mary Miller in a study called the Bonampak Documentation Project. All right, it has been a full day of exploring amazing Mayan ruins. Um, Yashalan and Bonampak, two incredible places. Um, they're a little bit out of the way, and it is a little bit of a hassle to get here, and you have to pay it's, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a lot of money, but you have to pay a lot of people, I guess I would say. You gotta pay the town, you gotta pay the ferry, you gotta pay the people to take you there, you gotta pay the fee to enter. But that all aside, I mean, it's just incredible to see these places and think about the civilizations that were here. The history that is in this place is just spectacular. Anyway, I've now got ants crawling on my arm about to sting me so it's time to finish all right if you like this adventure go ahead and give us a like hit that thumbs up button and we'll see you on the next adventure all right see you later are we there yet